I didn't tell my husband about our daughter's appointment and now I'm screwed. My daughter Catherine, 5F, was born prematurely at 30 weeks. The five weeks she spent in special care baby unit in hospital my partner, 48 male, only took two days off when he had 20 vacation days. The first weekend she was home from hospital he went on a boy's weekend. When Catherine was three months old he stopped helping slash caring for Catherine. One day I told him about an appointment and he said that he was too busy to attend. When he did that I stopped telling him about specialist doctor appointments. We became roommates with me being the main carer for Catherine. Fast forward to when COVID happened he spent time with us. I honestly thought that he turned his attitude around. As soon as he was able he went to the office. Catherine sat in front of the door and cried. As the pandemic finished we started the journey on getting Catherine assessed for autism. Suddenly Catherine's quirks made sense. He went to Europe for five days with the boys. In the three years he went on 15 plus boys trips, while I never been away from Catherine for more than 30 minutes. Just because he was always having fun with the boys on Saturday nights. Last year he started a new job and this year he started going on work trips. Now I will say that this really affected Catherine who is nonverbal, has delayed processing. She needs a structured routine if the routine is messed with she will have a meltdown which means she will hurt me by kicking slash hitting me. The only thing that I asked him was that if he goes on a work trip please not to do a fun boys trip in the same month. He agreed. In March a series of appointments for my daughter's assessment started which he was invited to but he declined citing work duties. Now four weeks ago he told me that he had to go to Cambridge for three days for a work conference at beginning of October. That is fine. Two weeks after he told me that he is going to Scotland for a fun boys trip. Breaking our agreement. He tried to gaslight me saying that I approved of the trip but I didn't. Now Catherine had an ENT appointment last week, I didn't tell him. She was recommended for a sleep study. I didn't tell him. The sleep study will happen at home on the 30th October while she is on school holiday. I honestly feel that he is going back to his old behavior doing what he wants, when he wants and we are going back to being roommates. Tonight Catherine cried for her daddy while in bed, I tried calling him but his phone went to voicemail. She doesn't understand that daddy isn't coming up when she calls for him. Honestly I can't understand how he is able to go away on so many fun boys weekends when he goes away so much for work.